Hello YouTube, Ultra481 here, back with another uh, tutorial on how to install LSPDFR. Um, now if you were with me for my other video, um, which was last night, um, I went in depth detail in how to install Rage Plugin um, with LSPDFR. Now, this is going to be sort of like the same video, but this isn't going to include some um, how to install some plugins in, in, into your folder. Now, if you're having a problem uh, when you're getting Grand Theft Auto 5 and your game crashes because of a plugin issue, well, I'm going to show you how to fix that and how to uh, successfully download Grand Theft Auto um, 5 plugins into your GT5 directory. So what I have here is this is, um, I'm not going to go and change my folder for my Grand Theft Auto 5, but if you're looking at this, um, this is the all the documentations, all the folders, all the files um, when you download LSPDFR. Um, so the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to go to, just ignore that, um, we're going to go to um, lcpdfr.com. Um, and this is the website as of 1014. So we're going to go to downloads. Once we get to downloads, we're going to go over to LSPDFR. Um, and we're going to click first response. And what we're going to do is we're going to download 0 0.2 beta. Um, 0 0.3 has not been released yet. It's in the process. So that's going to be fun as well. So we're just going to click download this file. Um, this is for... Um, GTA 5 LSPDFR 0.2 um, now if you're looking um, in bold letters it says after the latest Grand Theft Auto V update you need to update Rage plugin hook as well before attempting to play LSPDFR now most of you do not look at this most of you say let's download the file and just start playing you cannot do that if you watch my other video I showed you how to fix a problem this video is going to show you um, how to get, you need the latest Rage plugin hook um, into your LSPDFR folder. Um, and then once you get that and you get into single player and everything's working, then you want to exit your game and then you want to start the plugins process. Um, so when we download this, um, we're going to get, this is what's going to come up. Um, this is all the files inside this download that we download of LSPDFR.com. Um, so this is all the files you need. Now, when you download LSPDFR, you're going to see that you're going to say, hey, Alter, there's already a Rage plugin in my LSPDFR folder. Correct. That was last updated 721. So that is an old model of a Rage plugin. We do not need, we cannot play LSPDFR correctly without getting the latest plugin of Rage plugin hook. So if you go to their website, which is RagePluginHook.net, and you go over to Downloads, you're going to see that the latest download that they have um, for Grand Theft Auto V is Rage Plugin Hook um, 0 0.27. This is what we need. Um, this latest update includes error message for unsupported game versions. Basically, um, Rage Plugin couldn't find your Grand Theft Auto V um, game. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click that. We're going to download that. I mean, once we download that, I'm going to go through and I'm going to download it as well. Um, we're going to download I downloaded it multiple times. Um, so we're going to download it. Uh, once it's downloaded, um, we're going to get this folder is going to come up. And you must have WinWar for this uh, tutorial um, because if you don't have WinWar, your files aren't going to be extracted and you're not going to be able to use your files correctly. So before you do anything, first step, let's go back, is you need WinWar. Download WinWar. You can get a free edition. Uh, just go to Google, type in WinWar free download, and you'll get WinWar. Um, okay, so back to Rage Plugin. These are all the files in Rage Plugin. Um, so this is open as a WinWar, um, and we're going to go back to our, um, we're going to call this our Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, directory, which it's not. It's LSPDFR, but I'm not going to change my files up because my files are already done. Um, so let's pretend we're looking at Grand Theft Auto 5 and um, LSPDFR. So right now, 
we're going to say that we we went through and we did the basic switch of this so we're going to open up our grand total 5 folder um and let's say that now to go back this is once again this is lspdfr uh, first response downloaded off lcpdfr.com uh, so once you download that we're going to drag all these files uh into the grand theft auto v uh, directory so basically where I'm highlighting is where we're going to drop all these folders um, and once that's in there your game will look like this your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder will look like this um, I'll have all these files in here um, and like I said we have to get the latest version of Rage plugin hook so we can successfully run LSPDFR because as you can see it says it right here you need it we have to get it so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight all the files from X input all the way to licenses. We're going to drag. Um, we're going to, if this was our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, what we would do is we would go to here and we would copy all this into here, into your Grand Theft Auto V folder. I'm not going to do it. I already did it. Um, and that's for the Rage plugin. Um, and then once you do that, um, it's going to look like this. Um, if it asks you to replace files, make sure you replace. If it asks you to move files, yes. When this comes up, you need to make sure you're hitting replace the files in this destination. Now I'm running Windows 10, so if you get something else, as long as anything says replace the files, you need to make sure you replace. If you skip files, there's going to be corrupt files in the game. You're going to get an error message. Just make sure you hit replace the files. Let that load, and then once you do that, you're gonna your um, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is gonna look like this. Um, now this is you have the latest version of Rage Plugin. Basically, um, what happened was when you downloaded LSPDFR, you had Rage Plugin, which was last modified 721. Now we have 929, um, which was from this latest update. So now we're gonna be able to successfully run LSPDFR 0.2 beta. Um, getting to that. Um, once you do that, everything goes through. You go through the prompt of Rage Plugin. Um, you're going to go to single player. You're going to start up your game. Just make sure um, on your map in the bottom left when you get in single player, just make sure you have the police station icons. Um, once you do that, basically LSPDFR is working correctly for you. Um, you have no plugins yet, so you should be fine. Um, so once that's done, um, what we're going to do is we're going to download some plugins and I'm going to show you uh, how to put the plugins in your folder correctly um, and everything's going to be fine. Um, one thing you want to make sure is um, in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory after you copied over LSPD Fire and Range Plugin, you want to go to the startup folder and you want to make sure that your folder um, has this inside of the startup. So once again, we went to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, um, then we went all the way down to startup. And when we get to startup, we want to make sure that it says load plugin LSPDFR first response. That's to make sure that your Grand Theft Auto 5 Rage plugin is going to load LSPDFR first response. Now I seen. Um, some people asked me questions and they said that all they had in their folder was this and this can be a common error. Um, this is, somebody sent me this um, the other day and told me that this is what's in their folder. This is a common error. This is going to be an error um, if you do not fix this. So we're going to go between response and DLL and we're going to put a dot. This is to run the response to DLL um, making sure that the application is running correctly and everything should look like this in that folder um, so make sure that's in there nothing else should be in there but these two um, is developer plugin timeout okay so that's good um, we're just making sure um, that that's good make sure if you do don't have the dot you put the dot in and you make sure you save it um, so going back up um, here's our LOS PDFR folder. Um, here's your user documentation, your police scanner, um, and plugins. Now, when you want, when you decide you're going to download mods for Grand Theft Auto 5, you're going to go to LOS PDFR. You're going to go to scripts and plugins. I'm not really detailing about the vehicle models as yet. There'll be another tutorial, but for right now, we're just right on plugins. All right. So if we decide we're going to download. Um, a plugin. 
Um, basically, I'm not going to re-download anything, but when you decide of a plugin you uh, want, basically you just click it, download it, and once you do that, it'll come up something like this. So um, I have, let's see, I'm going to use um, backup callouts, okay? So I just, let's pretend I just downloaded this, um, and you get it, you get this message. Um, when you download it, you're getting nothing, you're getting no readmes, no where to put the files. Um, this is a script and a plugin um, file. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag them. We're going to go back into our Grand Theft Auto. We're going to open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And we're going to copy these um, into our... Okay, hold on one second. We're going to copy these into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So what I do is, is I go highlight over my plugins, and I'm just going to place them in my plugins folder. Um, and basically what that's doing is it's giving, now these two files are in my plugins. Um, so that's a key to work too. Um, if you look on my, um, my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory after all my plugins were installed, um, you can see that um, all my files are inside Grand Theft Auto 5 plugin LSPDFR. So if you did like I did right now, what is not correct. The reason I did it is to show you guys. That's another common error is when you guys get um, when you guys get um, when you guys I'm sorry when you guys download something of LSPDFR and there's nothing to read me or where to put the files. You guys instantly think, well, since it's a plugin, I'm just going to put it in my plugins folder. That's not correct. You need to take these two files. And you have to place them in your LSPDFR folder. So when you start up LSPDFR, the plugins um, start. Um, and then when you start your game up, you'll see that in your bottom left um, screen, it'll say plugins DLL is running. If you don't have that, you probably disabled the message, which I haven't. So when I play my game, it says you are now on duty as an officer. And backups callouts um, is now running or Grand Theft Auto. Um, five backup is running okay so we just installed this plugin so basically once again what we did is this is our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory we went to plugins we went to LSPDFR we copy these two folders of uh, files into our folder okay so that would be done now um, let's say for example um, you want to let's say for example you want to download Traffic Policer. Um, this is a really good plugin, um, one of my favorites. Um, so this is where um, a common error happens as well. This Rage Native U um, DLL application needs to be in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Um, most of you guys, what you do is you copy your folders into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory but you never put this Rage Native DLL into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Most of you think, well, I already, I already have the latest version of Rage plugin. I don't need that. This is not a Rage plugin. This is a Rage um, Native DLL application file that you need in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory to run Traffic Policer. So what we're going to do for here is we're going to go in our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Uh, we don't want that. We're going to go into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Um, if I can find where I did. Here it is. Okay. So, um, we're in our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory right now. Um, and I know, once again, this is not a legit copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. This is just a folder that I put LSPDFR and Ray Truck in to just give you guys an example. So, what we're going to do, same thing, copy and paste the files. Um, what you're going to do is move this over, bring this up here. And make sure you can see the files just so make sure you know what you're doing. And then we're just going to copy. And on your folder, you're going to have up here um, Common Steam, all that, Grand Theft Auto 5. We're just copying this into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Um, just so you guys don't mess up, basically I'm going to open up my copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 and we're just going to copy this LSPDFR folder um, right into Grand Theft Auto 5 just like this. And we're going to copy any file need to be replaced, we're going to replace them. But for now I'm going to show you an example in here. So this 
file will go in here, and as you can see, LSPDFR, LSPDFR police scanner, traffic police or audio, and if we go down, we can see that we have traffic police or um, audio. That's what we need. File was transferred successfully. We're going to go back into our Grand Theft Auto V directory. We got a plugins folder. We're going to place the plugins folder into our GTA V directory. Plugins. Oops, sorry about that. Plugins. LSPDFR. Plugins. LSPDFR. See the same files are over in the same folder. That's what we need. And last but not least, the most important. Rage native. This needs to be copied over into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And as you can see, it's right here in my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Um, if there's any errors or anything's messed up, just read me. Just read the README file. Um, this will help you guys out a lot. Um, open it up with your notepad, um, and this will just explain in depth um, everything. Um, if you want to change your settings and all that, so that's important as well. Um, and then if we go back to, um, let's see, let me go to my downloads. If we go to our downloads um, and we see here, um, let's see, for example, we see, um, those are all uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. If, let's go um, to our downloads. Um, once you find out, um, a plugin that you like. Remember, same thing. Copying over. Read. Make sure you read me in the folder. That will help you explain if you have any errors or if you didn't do something right or if you didn't transfer something over right. That will help you. If you have any questions with it or you read, you did, you read the read me. Still can't figure it out. Message me. I will get back to you. I will help you with the problem. Um, like I said in the other video, I will team viewer you help you set this up. No charge. I don't charge. Um, so I will do that as well. Um, and basically, um, another thing I wanted to show you guys, um, and I wasn't going to show it in this video, but this is what I'm going to show. Grand Theft Auto V, um, how to install pets. So to install pets, what you need is you need this right here. You need Open IV. Um, Open IV um, is very important. Um, this is to transfer like CD images and uh, white um, folders like includes YT, um, YTD files. This is all the files you need if you want to um, edit your players and your cards in your, in your game to mod your game. So this is totally different from a plugins. We're not doing plugins anymore. We're doing how to um, install um, player skins into Grand Theft Auto V using OpenIV. So we're going to go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Very important. Um, what I do is, even though I know how to do this, I've been doing this for a while, I always read the README. Make sure, even if you say, oh, I know how to do it, I don't need to re read the README. Make sure you read the README. That's what the purpose of it in the file, um, in the folder is, is to make sure you're reading it because there could be a possible update that you have to switch something around, and if you don't do it, you can get a game crash. So, And then when we get on OpenIV Grand Theft Auto V, make sure we hit Edit Mode. Um, while Edit Mode, all changes will automatically save. Do you want to continue? Yes. This is so we can edit Grand Theft Auto V using OpenIV. If you don't hit that and you copy something over, it's not going to let you copy it over. So uh, in this folder, we have backup. This is your backups folder. Um, if you download this, um, if you put this in your Grand Theft Auto V game and you're getting crashes, um, this person who created this file um, was so nice to give you guys the backup file, which you're just going to do the same thing and place it um, as I do. Um, so we got screenshots, camels. Read me, like I said, I always do the read me. Um, so installation, he's telling you exactly how to do the installation. To install simple, simply start up OpenIV and place this file into X64E. So we're gonna go to X64E, we're gonna go to models, we're gonna go to CD images, and we're gonna go to components SMY right here. And we're going to make sure we're only copying this folder that is highlighted. Um, this is for police gang units uh, skin, um, pedestrian skins for LSPDFR. Um, so 
right here we're just going to basically copy this into our Grand Theft Auto 5 game. I'm not going to do it. I already did it. Um, so once that's done, it won't tell you that it was successfully transferred over. It's done. Um, so now we're going to go back and we're going to go to the next one. Um, and this is where a lot of people messed up on too because they just transfer both of these files into this uh, folder in openiv.correct. So um, now we have the next file. This one goes in PedProm. So I always start back over to make sure I'm not messing up anything. X64E, we're going to go to Models. We're going to go to CD Images. We're going to go to PedProms RPF. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this folder um, into our OpenIV. And just like this and drop it in there. I'm not going to do it. I already did it. Once that's done, you successfully install police um, gang unit um, ped, pro um, ped prompt skins. And every, excuse me, every, um, every, um, I can't talk today. Every character skin that you download all out off LSPDFR or LCPDFR is different. Just because these two look um, just because these two are player skins doesn't mean that if you download, for example, Washington State police skins, it's going to be the same thing. It's different. Some of them are different. Some of them have you uh, actually go into 60 X64V um, and download them. So make sure you're always reading the README. That I can't stress enough to make sure you're reading the README. That's the most important, probably the most important thing in this file is the README. So once that's done, we can close everything out. And um, what you can do is you can um, start up your Grand Theft Auto. Um, start up your Grand Theft Auto. Um, don't delete that. I just deleted it because that was a backup. Start up your Grand Theft Auto 5 um, using your raid chucks. So you're gonna in, in the other tutorial I told you how to do that. I'm not gonna show you in this one, but I showed you in the last one. So if you have any other questions, just watch my other video. Um, and we're just gonna run it as an administrator and we're gonna start up our game. And Everything that you put in your plugins, your your cars, your skins should be in the game. When you start LSPFR and you go on the station, you should get the player skins you put into Open IV and the vehicles. If you have any other questions or something's not making sense or you're stuck, once again, message me on YouTube. I am here to help you. Um, if it includes that I have to team view you, I will team view and help you out with the problem. What, what I ask for in return is just please like and subscribe on my channel uh, for more. Uh,